Oh yeah, what's going on guys? It's your boy HBK Just and I'm back and bring you guys um a game of some headquarters on cracked. Uh Call of Duty Black Ops. I, I don't believe I gave you guys a headquarters game yet. Um so I figured I'd give you guys some of that. Some different gameplay. Um it's some it's an old game. It's from um my earlier in my prestige. I'm second prestige right now, about to be third. Um going all the way to ninth. So I figured I'd give you guys something new. This is what we wasn't really up against the best competition, so it wasn't it's a pretty exciting game, but at the same time not you know, we did what we wanted to do with these guys. So anyway, we're not talking about the gameplay. Um I think you guys, you know, <laughs> know basically what headquarters is about. Um but what I really want to talk about is um my special guest. I didn't get the number of likes I wanted on the video I requested, but that's because a lot of people didn't see the video. Um I believe the sub box is filled. Um, my video views has been really inconsistent. So anyway, but I really did appreciate the number of likes I did get. I did get a, a lot. Um, so I do appreciate it. So anyway, without further ado, I would like to introduce my guest. Hi, my name is Tamika. I'm Justin's girlfriend. And um, I guess I'll be talking about how much I like porn today. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah as i stated before in my last video if you recall um she has a little habit like I, she doesn't i don't, I don't want to make it believe that you know every every moment of the day when she's not at work or what have you that all she does is look at a freaking laptop or look at her phone and look at porn all day no she's on the computer a lot you know she's a typical girl she's a, likes going on facebook and you know things of that nature and not really twitter I don't, I don't know if you have a twitter or not but she you know she's on facebook and but you know it there are those occasional times when i do <laughs> go in a room and the volume is to all the way down on the laptop and i peek and i see things that really are quite interesting so i figure you know i, I bring her on board and share with her and see because some people have asked said to me that um i am do i get intimidated by the fact that you like Watching things of that nature, I should say. And it really doesn't intimidate me. So, you know, what do you think? Do you think that guys should be intimidated by their girlfriends liking um, different kinds of entertainment? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that um, men should be intimidated by the fact that the woman likes to watch porn. It actually helps. It can actually, you know make it seem like I am being schooled. So if you want your girlfriend to learn new things, like basically on how to do, you know what I mean, but you will want her to watch the point. Want her to watch the point. Ladies and gentlemen, want your woman to watch porn. Yes, yes, you have to want her. Okay, she's corny, I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I guess she's, she's saying you want your girlfriend to watch porn. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I, I guess it really depends on what type of you know porn she's watching. We don't we don't want her watching things with elephants and stuff like that. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of weird. That's that's a different type of video. <laughs> One that I would not be making. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So I guess I, the the moral of the story is don't be intimidated. But there are like I said, there's some guys that are intimidated by the fact that some another th uh, question I've gotten was saying that um do it do you watch it because this is honestly a question i've got from subscriber i got several questions do you watch it because um like do you get satisfaction from watching that particular subject over satisfaction with me or you know of that nature like do no this is the question i'm actually getting i'm just relaying them to you wow. so the, <laughs> the, like they're saying do you actually get satisfaction from watching that or you just watch it for like just like you're watching a movie like Forrest Gump. I mean, come on. Well, I do get some type of satisfaction from watching porn. Who doesn't? But um, I do watch it like as though I'm watching a movie like Forrest Gump. Like I do get some laughs from it. I do get some oohs from it. I do get some moments from it. But, you know, who doesn't? <laughs> she gets oohs and moments okay <laughs> but anyway um i don't know i don't know i don't i don't, I don't know uh, let me ask you i mean to the question to the subscribers the questions to you guys and i i, I know i got hopefully everybody that subscribes to me is over the age of 18 <laughs> but whatever um but the question i mean as this guy just owns me here but anyway 
Um, my question to you guys, I mean, I don't know. Some people watch this, you know, things of that nature for totally different reasons. Some people watch it because I don't know. They want they they you know they want to get satisfaction satisfy themselves <laughs> or whatever. Some people watch it just like like I said. They watch you know just like they watch it Forrest Gump. They want to get glass. I me particularly, I it really it, you know I watch it. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's I, I, it's been several times. I have this huge overpriced overpowered computer, and on my favorites, I have different. I had. <laughs> I had past tense because I took a lot of them off because she was getting pissed off. But I had a lot of different, you know, particular websites that I like to partake in. And um, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm a guy, but I guess it's really taboo for a girl to, I guess, have that. Some people say, okay, guys, it's so great and easy to, you know, have, you know, it's, it's no problem for a guy to look at porn or, or go to strip clubs or as I totally turn on this guy. See, I turn. See, then I turn on that motherfucker. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> I sound the shit out of him, but anyway. Um, <laughs> but some people say it's really taboo for you know for a girl to like go to strip clubs. I've been I've been to strip clubs with you before. When we went to vacation in Miami, over here in New York, we, yeah, we went to strip clubs before, and it's it's really fun. You know, some people say, "How the hell could you do that?" But I don't know. Me and her has that type of relationship. We have that type of friendship. And you know, what do you feel about that? The the because a lot of people don't like that um, going to ship clubs as a couple. What do you? What are your thoughts on that? I think if you want to spice up your relationship with anybody you with, you will want to go like to strip clubs, even watch porn together. It'll bring more spice to the relationship. Matter of fact, you may even learn from them. Like basically, you know, you know, doing a whole pole dance, you know, going all the way on top. Maybe even doing a split down. I don't know how to do a full split, but I know I can split it. <laughs> yeah, that's what's crazy. Um, this, just to talk about um, the the experience I had when we went to Miami. That was pretty interesting because when we was in Miami, I was on vacation. She's shaking her head right now because she remembers. Um, it was a particular female of the uh, of the occupation stripper. I guess I should wait, say. Wait, wait, tell a story. Let me tell a story. Okay, what happened was the stripper. She decided that she wanted to come over, and um. Actually, she was looking at him and said, wow, I guess you must have felt seen money coming to her. So I told her, him to go ahead and put like money up on the stage. So he took like two bucks and placed it on the stage. I think she got so excited. She came back and she wanted another. She wanted a private dance from him. She wanted everything. She just she wouldn't stop. She'll leave and come back. She even came back and she touched me a bit. I was a little bit shocked, like, oh, my God, she went down in my you know, and just broke my boob and started trying to lick on it. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is a little bit too much now. But anyhow, I was like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go and get your dance on with her. So then he left. I don't know what happened after that. I don't know if he's going to say anything, but maybe he should tell you. <laughs> Absolutely nothing happened. She's, I, I was solely not attracted to the girl, <laughs> to be honest with you. If you remember correctly, Tamika, um, it, it was it's, it was real funny because you know she wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> she it, I've been I've been to a few strip clubs with you, and you I mean every time we go you start laughing at me because I only give them like a dollar or two and that's about it. Like I never spend money. Like if I spend anything, it's me spending you know getting drinks or whatever. That fucking ghost bitch. But anyway, I think it was ghost anyway. Um, yeah, if I spend anything, it's me getting drinks or. Things of that nature, but I rarely ever, you know, put money on oh, put money on the table. Hold on, I never really put money on the table. <laughs> but when I went up to the area where um, the stripper wanted to give me a private dance, she got let her dance and do her thing for like, you know, I think ten minutes, something like that. I forget how long I was up there, but that was the end of it. She, it was nothing special. It was no happy ending or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. The part that I enjoyed most about going to that strip club was when I got the massage. Yeah. If you remember that. Yeah, remember now that, that massage, that was one of the best. Ma that wasn't from the stripper. That was from some other person walking around giving people massages. That was one of the best goddamn massages you ever had in my goddamn life. I, Honestly, that was an amazing massage, and honestly, I guess I can say I'm really lucky that you know you're not the jealous type or anything like that at that point because you know a lot of people don't get to experience stuff like that. What is it? What you wanted to say? No, I just wanted to tell everybody about the last the situation before that we went to a strip club. Some girl had a huge, like a really huge butt, and um, she was really wiggling her booty on the stage, and he was just like sitting there just watching. He wouldn't take the dollar and put it in her. And I was like, just put the dollar there. 
put the dollar. Finally, he put the dollar, and then she still stood there and started dancing. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like giving him anything. As I totally fell, I forgot to move the controller a little bit. Um, Yeah, I didn't want to give it. I mean, I'm not that type of person that just, you know, yeah, yeah, take a drink. I, I'm not that type of person that just, you know, give out all types of freaking. I, I mean, I've seen guys in there that give up, what, $100, $200, $300 yeah, like, to these crazy bitches. A whole bunch of ones on them yeah, who, I'm, I'm not making it. I'm not Little Wayne. I'm not making it rain. Like, <laughs> fuck that. I, I work hard for my money, so I'm not going to be just throwing it away. And just, you know, doing things like that. But anyway, that's what goes to the end of the video. I just want to say thank you to my girl for coming aboard and opening up a little bit. This is something that's extremely rare. I don't think you see this on YouTube a lot. If you really like the video, give it a like. Um, you know, let's see if we can get an amazing number of likes. And that's the end of the game. I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Later.